Hello, my name is Jason Peterson with Texas Small Batch Ammo. And today we wanted to make a video on the things that we do at Texas Small Batch to make sure that our ammo is as safe as possible, the quality control standards that we use. And we wanted to share this with you. So the first safety device that we are going to highlight in this video is the Dillon Precision Powder Check System. Um, it is sitting on top of a Dillon 650 tool head. The way that this works is your shell plate raises, the sets off a audible alarm um, on based upon whether the powder charge in the case is too much or not enough. Your adjustments to set the system up properly or here and then here, and you will adjust these to your particular powder charge. As the shell plate comes up, it engages, sets off an alarm. So this would be the position if there was no powder in the case, uh, for some reason there was a malfunction, or you advanced the shell plate without getting powder into it, uh, and then raised the shell plate, you would get an alarm. Once set to the proper powder charge, and as it comes up, you'll see there's no alarm and you can continue on pressing out. Yeah. This is the second safety device we want to talk about. This is the double alpha powder check system. Similar to the Dillon powder check system, it works a little different a couple different ways. It does have a visual and a audible alarm. You'll see here a little LED bulb that will actually light up red um, when the powder is uh, not adequate or overcharged. Um, it has uh, two points of movement. One is here. Um, this actually is based upon the uh, case height. So you have an adjustment there and that is done here through your locking ream to bring the whole device up and down based upon your um, case height. And then your adjustment for your powder charge is made here on your Allen screw, um, allows this to slide up and down the rod uh, to set it to the correct powder charge. This system has a magnet in it, and if that magnet is not in the proper location, we'll demonstrate that here in just a minute. If it's not in the proper location, then it's gonna send off the alarm um, telling you that the powder charge is either too low or too high. So let's look and see how that works. <clears throat> As you lower the tool head and you engage the um, case, you will hear a little micro switch there that will, if you can hear that. Once you engage that micro switch, then we make the system live. And right there, all through that height, we are too low on powder. As we continue raising, there we see the proper charge. If we go above that, then we get the both the audible and the visual alarm. Okay, so the next safety device that we want to look at is the uh, Dillon Low Powder Sensor. This actually works on top of your powder measurer. Uh, we've used this on both Dillon powder measures and on the uh, Lyman Mark 7 powder measures. It sets off a visual and audible alarm, tells you when the powder in your powder measure has gotten too low. So the way that it works is very, very simple. It just sets right down has a lip here where it will set right down on top of your powder measure and this plunger and rod as your powder begins to go down as you're working um, continue pro ammo your rod comes down and eventually it will engage so our next safety alarm. device is a chamber check gauge. This one's made by egwguns.com. As you can see, um, it is in 308. This is the simplest 
safety device we have in our video. Um, while it is super simple, it is incredibly important. And at Texas Small Batch uh, Ammunition, we use this for every single round we produce. Every round that we produce goes out to a customer, first goes through a chamber check gauge. So you have a block of aluminum or uh, potentially stainless, they can make them out of all different kinds of things, and they mill out the exact specification, SAMI specs for that round. Um, as you insert that round into the gauge, just like so, it will go down, and if it's properly sized, will fit flush, just like that. If you have a round that, for whatever reason, um, has an issue, perhaps it's, you can see it, and, and maybe even you can't, and you put that round in, it will hang up just like that, uh, alerting you that that round is not going to chamber in a gun, uh, preventing you from having an issue on the range or if you're making ammo for somebody else or selling ammunition uh, preventing you from having a problem there as well. Thank you so much for watching our video today. Please feel free to email us at heartoftexasammo at gmail.com or come over and visit our website at texassmallbatch.com.